Factitious disorder occurs when an individual feigns physical or psychological signs or symptoms or induces injury or disease with identified deception. Individuals present to others as ill, impaired, or injured and create signs or symptoms by lying, simulating, putting drops of blood into a urine sample, or actually creating disease, injecting bacteria or taking medications. The primary aim is to achieve the patient role, and the behavior persists even in the absence of apparent external rewards such as monetary gain or obtaining narcotics. More is known about factitious physical disorder. The individual may seek examination and treatment to include invasive diagnostic testing or surgery. The term Munchausen syndrome is reserved for the most severe variant of factitious physical disorder and is characterized by exaggerated lying, pseudologia fantastica, sociopathy, geographic wandering, peregrinating, from hospital to hospital, and seeking to be in the patient role. These patients initially and sometimes chronically become the responsibility of medical or surgical clinics. Nevertheless, the disorder is a mental problem, is more complex than simple dishonest simulation of symptoms, and is associated with severe emotional difficulties. Patients may have prominent borderline personality features and are usually intelligent and resourceful. They know how to simulate disease and are sophisticated regarding medical practices. They differ from malingerers because, although their deceits and simulations are conscious and volitional, there are no obvious external incentives, economic gain, time off from work, for their behavior. It is unclear what they gain beyond medical attention for their suffering, and their motivations and quest for attention are largely unconscious and obscure. Patients may have an early history of emotional and physical abuse. Patients may also have experienced a severe illness during childhood or had a seriously ill relative. Patients appear to have problems with their identity as well as unstable relationships. Feigning illness may be a way to increase or protect self-esteem by blaming failures on their illness, by being associated with prestigious physicians and medical centers, and or by appearing unique, heroic, or medically knowledgeable and sophisticated. Diagnosis this is a diagnosis of exclusion. It requires demonstrating that the individual is taking surreptitious actions to misinterpret, simulate, or cause signs or symptoms of illness or injury in the absence of any obvious external reward. Early diagnosis is helpful to prevent extensive and unnecessary testing. There may be direct observation of fabrication, the presence of signs or symptoms that contradict laboratory testing, non-physiologic response to treatment, physical evidence of fabrication, syringes at the bedside, recurrent patterns of illness exacerbation, or failure to follow the expected natural history of disease. Treatment of factitious disorder imposed on self is usually challenging, and there are no clearly effective treatments. Patients may obtain initial relief by having their treatment demands met, but their symptoms typically escalate, ultimately surpassing what physicians are willing or able to do. Confrontation or refusal to meet treatment demands often results in angry reactions, and patients usually move from one physician or hospital to another, called peregrination.